on free code camp doing javascript algos and data structures we're in the regular expressions course on challenge 9 of 33 and we're going to match letters of the alphabet today so in the previous lessons we learned how to match with a set a given set so we used vowels a e i o and u and we used the square brackets to match any potential combination so i think the word was like run fun whatever so it was whatever characters un right we're matching whatever characters are in the square braces and then followed by un so f u n r u n run whatever we can do the same thing but instead of having to specify exactly what potential characters we may need to use a large range of characters for example every letter in the alphabet fortunately we can do that with a built-in feature which is the hyphen so same syntax as before if we were looking for any string that was, you know, blank AT, so C A T or B A T or M A T, we could use the square brackets and say, you know, from A hyphen E. So it'll be any letter A B C D E A T. That's what this is gonna match, right? Any let any word that's A B C D or E followed by A T. So cats bat but not mat okay so that's what we're doing here that's the idea is that we can just use a hyphen between two letters and it will check every letter between those two in the alphabet for a match as well so just like the last lesson with the square braces and then you know this could be any option of those it's anything between these now so not just a or e it's anything a through e as you can see here for example to match lowercase letters a through e we would use square bracket a hyphen e square bracket okay so that's that's all we're going to do here um, once again you can kind of see it's getting more precise with how we want to target and it's just giving us more control as we learn more about how to target or what to target um, now we know how to target you know a one character that could be any character a set of given characters or a a range of characters in the alphabet right a through e so what we're going to do here in this example is match all letters in the string quote sample so we want to make sure that it matches both uppercase and lowercase okay so we want to match every single letter in this string quote sample so we need to change this alphabet regex to match every letter in the alphabet and we also need to make it so that it does not care about uppercase or lowercase so it matches all of them regardless okay and then result needs to be the match method so we need to call the match method to actually match every item in the string every character in the string so to do this we know that we can use the square bracket letter through letter to get any range of letters in the alphabet so if we're trying to match every letter in the alphabet because we want every every character in the string we probably just want to do a through z so let's say okay alphabet regex is equal to a regex forward slash closing slash right so this is kind of standard regex opening forward slash closing forward slash and then between them we're going to use the square brackets and then what do we want to capture? Do we want to capture A, E, I, O, and U again? Or do we want to capture A through Z, right? Any letter A through Z. And then this in theory should pass, but then we can say, oh no, we need to account for capital and lowercase, and we need to account for all of them. So we don't just want to grab one, the first letter that matches, we want to grab all of them. So let's grab all globally, and then let's grab all ignoring case. So G to grab every match globally within the string, and then I to ignore case so that every letter A through Z, regardless of capital or lowercase, is a match, okay? So that should be a correct expression. That makes sense to me. It sounds good. That sounds like what the prompt is asking for. Now let's just make our result variable the right value. So to assign result to be all the matches, an array of matches, we need to assign result to be the function call. Because once again, I've said this in all the previous videos, a function call or a method call is equal to what it returns. So if result is equal to a function call, which it's not currently, but it will be, if result is equal to a function call, 
thusly, result is equal to whatever that function returns. So we want result to be equal to whatever the match method returns. So what do we do to do that? Well, we know match, we take the string, we dot match the expression. We pass the expression, the regex, as the argument. So result is equal to the string, so quote sample, dot match, and then we want to match the expression, A through Z, all characters. So we want to match the alphabet regex. And now, once again, as I do in every lesson, if we console log result here, we can see that if you read this, it's literally every character in the string. So the quick, you can see, the quick brown fox jumped and we can keep going but you can see over the lazy dog or whatever over the lazy dog so you can see that is correct and now if we run this it does in fact match and that's all we had to do for this one right so we're our expression matched a through z and it returned to us all global instances all global matches of the string so not just the first match but all of them with the g and then it ignored case, so any letter, A through Z, capital or lowercase, because of the I. And then result is equal to the function call, so thusly result is equal to the return value of the match, which is this array. So that's all we had to do for this one. I hope that made sense. If anything I said confused you or didn't make sense, please ask questions in the comments. I do love that and I love interacting with you guys, so please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible, and I hope to see you guys in the next lesson.